who studied that the conductors are of different, uh, we can classify the conductors into two categories. One is ohmic conductors, which obey the Ohm's law, are called ohmic conductors. We have studied Ohm's law in the topic current electricity. If you plot a graph in the case of ohmic conductors V and I, then we have obtained a straight line. But there are some conductors which do not obey Ohm's law and those conductors are called non-ohmic conductors. We can give some examples in the category of non-ohmic conductors like PN junction diodes, all semiconductor devices, transistors and Gina well. In this case, we are going to talk about the characteristic curves of Gina diode. Gina diode, the symbol, it is the symbol of Gina diode. It is a special kind of diode which is operated always in reverse bias. We have already talked about reverse bias when the p type semiconductor is connected at lower potential and high type n type semiconductor is connected to higher potential. Then an ideal diode behaves like a open switch. The infinity, the resistance is the infinity, so virtually there will be no current passing through that. But the current can be constituted in the circuit just because of the minor carriers. In this case, the Gina diode is operated in the reverse bias and we plot the graph between current and the voltage. By increasing the voltage, we will see that current will be almost very small. We can record it in only in microamperes. If you observe this graph, when we increase the reverse voltage, then the current will be increased very small. But a particular position, at a particular voltage, the voltage which is called breakdown voltage, the current is abruptly increased even though there is no increment in the voltage given. So this particular voltage is called breakdown voltage. This breakdown voltage is caused due to the puncture of depletion layer. So this Gina diode is a special diode I told already. Why it is special? Normally in junction diodes, the doping takes place. So in Gina diode, this doping is very strong. So such that it can be operated in reverse bias. The main advantage of Gina diode is it can be stabilizing the output current rather we can say Gina diode can be used as voltage regulator. Now let us observe the characteristic curves of Gina diode practically. This is a device to see the Gina diode characteristic curves. So here in this circuit the Gina diode is connected in reverse bias. This is measuring the current and this voltmeter is measuring the potential difference across the Gina diode. Now we are doing the experiment for reverse bias, so this switch is turned towards reverse bias.
when i operate this knob i am increasing the potential potential difference that you can see through the voltmeter you can observe the readings in voltmeter but there is no change in the milliampere still i have operated up to 2 volts because this is kept at 10 volt range so you have to go through the down readings so now it is 3 volt still the current is zero now i am raising it to 4 volt still the current is zero now it is 5 volt 6 6.2 now the milliampere starts showing the reading now by increasing minutely the voltage the current is increased abruptly so now i hardly increase the potential difference which is almost all kept at 6.4 but the milliampere is showing larger reading let us just find out the breakdown voltage of the gener 6 now it starts 6.2 6.4 now there is hardly any variation in voltmeter reading but lot of variation is there in the ammeter reading so which shows 6.2 is the breakdown voltage of this gener diode this is pn junction diode characteristic curves apparatus here this will be operated in forward bias and then reverse bias to measure the current in the forward bias a milliampere and a voltmeter is here and to measure the uh, reverse bias uh, characteristic curves the to measure the current reverse current that it is uh, microamperes and reverse voltage can be uh, known from this voltmeter okay now when we do the things in the forward bias we know that the p type semiconductor is to be connected to the higher potential and n type semiconductor is to be connected to the lower potential then we say that it is forward bias so now let me perform the characteristic curves or the readings for the forward biasing you can observe that i have increased the voltage but still there is no current now the current starts increased for different volts the currents are to be noted and then we will plot a curve let's see once again so here 0.02 0.04 still the milliampere reading is same now it starts it is due to the cut off voltage of the semiconductor device now let me tell you this diode is connected in reverse bias in the reverse bias the current is measured in terms of micro amperes as it is very less now let me increase the voltage the current that is increased is very less in micro amperes that to be loaded at this 25 it is hardly some 14 micro amperes at 30 it is nearing 20 micro amperes even at 50 also it is 50 micro amperes so like that in the reverse bias the voltage even it is going beyond 20 volts still the current is very less so if you plot the graph you can get the reverse biasing characteristic curves for pn junction diode remember an ideal diode 
offers infinite resistance and does not conduct at all in the reverse mode whereas it conducts like uh, on switch in the case of forward biasing.